I mean, Paul, Keisha. Hmm. You got some underwear? I told you, don't come over here because you can't be in my camera. You don't got no underwear on. Go get some underwear at the drawer. You don't see none? You ain't seen no more underwear? I do got to fold our clothes. That's what I'm about to do. But the boys are here with me again. They are doing great. They've been on this Benadryl. <laughs> Just playing. That's not why. But no, this, they have been taking a little Benadryl. And look at Horn. Ask the doctor. Well, not their pediatrician, but ask the um, other first doctor I had called for Sincere. Huh? What? What the? What the? What he got? What okay. you saw? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to keep the boys home again today just to make sure they're all good. I want them to be good, good. So, yeah, I kept my boys home again because I told y'all I um, reset my hair appointment for tomorrow, for Thursday. And really, I just need, I want for them to make all the stop. Can't even show y'all what happened. Cause wasn't got no underwear on here. Put your underwear on, pull them. Yeah. Got little boxes. Little boxes. I told y'all close up. I'm gonna go put some more clothes in the washing machine. I need to wash the towels. What are you doing? You keep giving it to him and then you mad because he got your saw. Just gave the boys milkies. Y'all, y'all know I told y'all yesterday. We was outside for that little hot second. <laughs> the mosquitoes come take my babies. Y'all, the mosquitoes take my babies instantly. Look at True's face. Look at True. Yes, it is. Them babies, the mosquitoes love my baby. Y'all, it looked like some other crap. I don't even want to talk it up. Y'all remember Wolf had it. HFM. That's not what it is, y'all at all. I know it's these mosquitoes and it's nowhere else. But I just know because I seen him. I was like, I went over there and he had like two, three mosquitoes on him at that time. Sincere. He got mosquitoes. Yeah, two up here too. Them mosquitoes messing with my babies. But yeah, I want them to just be all the way good because, yeah, I don't want them to call by next day tomorrow when they go. My hair appointment is at 9 o'clock. Oh my God, these kids. <laughs> at nine. So they usually don't get to school till like 9.45, y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get up and get witty, okay? It should be well rested. They've been at home for two days now. Yeah, the twins been at home now for three days. So when they got them like at 12, so like one o'clock on Monday. So they had a half a day Monday. And then, what are y'all doing back there? They behind a the freaking bed, y'all. He playing with Rocco. But yeah, um, they at home again today. We finna chill, we finna get all the way better. Ain't we, baby? Ain't we, boys, huh? You gave it to them. That's what happens. When dogs bite something, they got hard teeth, so it breaks it. So don't ever give Rocco your, if you want it, if you really want it, don't give it to Rocco. So, oh well, you kept putting it in his mouth. Don't put it on my bed. Mm. But no. Ugh. I'm gonna get off here. <laughs> yeah, I just want to check in with y'all. Let y'all know the boys been spending another day with mama. Like I said, they are doing great. They are doing pretty good, but I just want them to be all the way good because, look, I don't want my baby to go to school and get nobody else sick and then somebody else looking crazy at me. I don't like that. So, yeah. I ain't gonna send them to school like that. They should be, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna from them one more day today. Get them feeling good, get them feeling great. So you got a little cough still, but nothing major. Nothing major. The doctor said they could go to school today. I texted their teachers and stuff and told them what was going on. Let them know they just had a cold. They was able to come to school. I wanted to come home. I told 
message. Well, teacher, I don't have her direct number. I follow her on Facebook though, but I um, got the group name. So I messaged her on there and let her know because Wolf wasn't even sick on Monday when he was at school. I let her know and um, asked her was there anything I could be working with him, working on with him at school, I mean at home, so that he won't be behind or anything. Because I better be learning. You want the camera so bad, true. Say hey. <laughs> so yeah, I want him to say hey, Puda. I don't want everybody to be behind at all. So I asked her, like, was there any specific letter they were working on drawing or anything? So hopefully she messaged me back so we can figure out what our lesson plan is going to be. If not, we just got to figure something out. Okay. <laughs> but all right, you guys. I will just talk to you guys later on. So, you guys, I decided to take the boys for a walk and take myself for a walk, too, I'm guessing. Hello, how you doing? And take myself for a walk. It's so freaking hot though, y'all. It's so hot. I'm starving. What what you wanna eat when you leave we leave here? Huh? You say what? Chicken? That sounds good to me too, son. We can run that. Hey babe. We had, we good. We at the park walking. Come on. No, just me and the boys. I'll talk about that later. Hey guys, I just want to go for these. Let me see him. Let me say hey. Is that go? Hey y'all. Is that go? With mommy. Is that go? Tell them that you want to sit down now because you was tired. Mm. What you doing? What's that? Hmm? What's that, mommy? What? A dog. What's that? <laughs> All right, you guys, we made it back from our walk. It was a great walk. Your girl was sweating. Sweating like crazy. I put a little clip. I had a little boomerang. I did, you know, showing all my sweat on Instagram. I might add that right here. But anyways, you guys, today the girl has been productive. It's two o'clock. I'm about to get dinner started. So your girl been wanting some oxtails. I showed y'all last week when I was in Publix the oxtails they had. So your girl went back and got them oxtails from Publix, and they are pretty. Here they are. And I actually have two packs of them. So I'm about to get these going. And today I'm using my mom's recipe. I made oxtails before. Um, I did a cooking video on oxtails years ago at this point. And um, they were good, of course. But I want to try my mom's recipe because her oxtails, she do hers in the oven. I typically do mine in the crock pot. I'm sorry, y'all. I just finished eating McDonald's. We had lunch. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I used to put them out in the crock pot. I'm gonna do hers in the oven and it be so good, y'all. They be like more juicy or something. They be like more fall off the bone. You would think a crock pot would do that, but they be tougher in a crock pot. So I called my mom and I was like, I need your recipe for your oxtails. Okay, mine still be busting now. Don't get me wrong, the flavor is all there. But that, I want that hot hush just fall. We just be. Mm. Was that weird? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing, y'all. Um, I'm looking forward to see if I got some brown and gravy. I need to go to the store. I know to go get me some stewed tomatoes because I do not have any. And I'm trying to just make sure I have some brown and gravy so that I won't have to go out for a second time. <coughs> And, oh no, this fish and meat sauce. I thought this was gonna be brown and gravy. Oh, oh I do got brownie. Uh -huh. I knew I thought I had some brownie up here. So I got this brownie by Grace's. And I got also have one by Ocho Rios. So good, I'm good with that. I just need, I'm really just gonna need the stew tomatoes. What else I needed? See if I had some oxtail. I know I got oxtail because I just want to see if I can make sure I got enough. 
oxtail seasoning. So anyways, yeah, I'm about to go take a shower. I, I got like a busy day, that's why I'm doing everything early. And I'm going ahead and cooking, so I'm gonna have to like, just be doing it all at one time because I'm taking my hair down because I don't get my hair done in the morning. So I wanna do that, well I have to do that. And I don't want to wait till all night because I still got to, you know, I want to be up all night doing that. So I still got to be up all night editing. So I want to go ahead and get my hair out so I can have it washed by the time I take my shower tonight. And I can blow it out and all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, oxtails. I'm just about to, before I get in the shower, I'm just about to start. I'm sorry. I had my waist ring on too, y'all. So I got my bowl here with some warm salt water and I'm just gonna let this I'm just gonna clean my oxtail because oxtails have a lot of like gunk, gunk and stuff on it so y'all just stick with me try to drop these in here and let them just sit the whole time I'm in the shower and clean them up or no I can I can actually let them clean them up first Y'all just stick with me. Y'all just stick with me. Yeah, they not all the way completely paused. I'm just gonna let them sit first. And then I'm gonna season them up and boil them. And remember y'all for learning to my mama, my mama recipe. Step by step by Miss Tisa. If y'all know her name, her name is Tisa. <clears throat> yeah, I had went to um the other day. Oh shit. The other day I had went to Food Depot to go try to get some oxtails. And granted the pack was bigger, you got more. For your money but they wasn't red like these y'all they wasn't meaty they had a lot of white which means they had a lot of fat yeah like this was this is it was like the opposite way most of it it was just a lot of white i was like oh you're just gonna be eating fat the whole time it was a pack full of fat and a little meat so i was like let me just go to Publix and get them ones i know meaty like these are meaty it was kind of hot i ain't gonna lie when I seen them in the store the first time and I said it was a good number, when I picked up the pack, it was still, it was like a decent amount, but I was like, I was counting them and with the little ones and it was just, I didn't know if it was gonna be super filling. Mm -hmm. What you doing? Bryce over here too, y'all. I had to go get Bryce because they got some plumbing done at the house. So the water is off while they getting plumbing done. So yeah, he's over here, so I can go kind of move around, go take my shower, not worry about nothing. The baby just ate. I'm finna get them milky some, but I just do not feel right giving them these sweaty milkies. So that's why I'm taking a shower first. Plus, I don't sit on my bed after that kind of activity. So yeah, we just gotta go take a bath, get all this sweat and mush. I ain't messing it out, but I am sweaty. <laughs> Get all this stuff off me. So yeah, but I tell finna sit y'all. I tell finna sit. My babies use, I got them like washable bibs now. So you just like wash them off when they finish using them. And I put them over here on a towel dryer for them to dry. And then they be ready for the next meal. Mm -hmm. Let me clean this water off my floor, y'all. <laughs> So I boil, I've been boiling these for almost an hour. I got one minute left. Um, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So what happens, like I said, the reason you're doing this is to get all the 
I don't know what this stuff is called. The crud, the mm, the hunk of stuff that's all pumped up up here. That's what I was doing that for. So I'm about to go ahead and pour this out. Um, pour the water out for this. And it's also, you know, starting the cooking process as well. I already have me a pan here. And I did line my pan um, with some foil. Line the pan here because I feel like it sticks less sometimes. Like sometimes when I cook something for a long time, the bees are gonna cook in the oven for three hours and if I get distracted and forget to come mess with it, check the water or whatever, I like to put it on here because I feel like it's less likely to stick to the bottom. So yeah, I put foil down there and I'm about to go ahead, like I said, remove this from this water and I'm going to re-season them. And they already smell good, just like with them boiling in that seasoning. I seasoned them in the first time, so you can tell they already got some flavor in them. I poured it out and I poured some fresh water on top of them. I probably can, um, repeat that a couple times. Of course, they're like really hot, so I'm not gonna physically touch them and clean them like that. I'm just gonna, like I said, pour water on it until the water starts to run cleaner. Once you guys, I have my oxtails here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the pan. Um, you know what, I might season them in the pot so I can use a spoon to mix them around. I don't want to really mix them around once I get them in there. So, my um, oven is preheated to 400 degrees. So I'm going to season them with some onion powder, some garlic powder, some oxtail seasoning, some black pepper, and some Black Your Mama seasoning. And I am gonna season it pretty heavily, y'all. So I gotta season them heavily. I'm about to take my spoon. Cause like I said, these are still hot. Let me see how hot it is. I like to use my hands. I might can work with that right there. I might can work with that. Let's get my hands dirty. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, my hands are Just like this, I'm gonna cover them up um, with some water. Y'all take one last final look at the locks. I love this hairstyle. I'm so glad I know how to do this hairstyle because I will be doing it again in the future, but I'm about to go ahead and take it out because I do have a hair appointment in the morning. So y'all, I love these. They still look like a lot because they, you know, they're supposed to get, it's like I knew I was gonna like them more and more as they got older, but I had these since like when? When I had these since y'all? It's probably been like a month. I don't really know, I don't know I had these. I don't know, I don't remember how long I had these, but I love them, but I do, um, 
I'm ready to give you some knowledge break. So, I'm about to do that in the morning. I love these stuff. Yeah, like I said, I'm glad I know how to do them. And, you know, your girl already got some fine sale lined up to do them on people. So, hey, well. What you doing? You can be? Oh. All right, y'all. <laughs> bye bye, lots. I love you, lots. Your girl did these locks. They are nappy and locked looking, but I love them. All right, y'all, don't mind my hair. I'm taking my hair out, but now um, I have a little bit left. I had, you know, I'm cooking the oxtails for two hours first. I'm about to go ahead and make some gravy because that last, I'm total, I'm gonna sit total for three hours or three and a half hours, we'll see. Um, but I'm going to make a gravy to go over the oxtails um, to go ahead and add in for that last hour of cooking. So I'm going to use some grease, like some recycled grease. I do, if I use fresh grease on something, um, I do save it so I get a couple uses out of it. So I'm going to use some grease. And usually, you know, when you're making gravy, you usually have fried something. So you're using that grease that, um, that was, you know, that the item had rendered fat from or whatever. But this go round, we just happen to use some good old fresh grease, partly fresh grease, and then I have some flour here. And it's just all eyeballing y'all. Flour. You're also gonna be seasoning your um your gravy up, so make sure you have seasoners on hand. I'm using some salt, pepper. I'm going to use the browning gravy and the fish and meat sauce in the gravy to um, giving it its dark color because of course it's going to be light since we didn't actually fry anything. You're not going to have a dark rich gravy so that's why I'm going to use the browning and the fish and meat sauce. I'm also going to use some of the oxtail seasoning in the gravy and yeah. So the grease is getting hot. Let me use my little thing here. Um, you're also going to use water, of course. So let me have my water ready, too. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just using this cup. Because <laughs> it's the closest thing to me. So, yeah. This is what this one to look like. Like I said, I just added. I probably put, like, a single layer of um, grease in the skillet. And then I just added that flour I had. And turn it down you don't want to stuff to cook too um fast and it just be tasting like flour and nasty just get that this is how you make gravy y'all if y'all didn't know get them little chunks of flour out of there so you want Definitely, definitely, definitely have to season your flour up. Yeah, gravy up, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna use some salt. Y'all see it's already getting darker with the seasoning. Yeah, I smell really good in here by the way. Them oxtails got this house smelling good. Open up my brownie. Mm 
brown and it's very dark. Very dark. But this is how you turn. No, I said I told y'all that I see that it's not getting dark. It's not really dark. And then fish and meat sauce has a really good taste to it, y'all. You put this aside. It has a really good taste. All right. So you don't want to let this burn. I'm going to start adding my water in. Turn it down to a simmer. My oxtail has like 10 minutes left on them. And of course your gravy will thicken. If you want it thicker, you can always add more flour. But don't just add a lot of flour because you don't want your gravy to taste like flour. I've been there before, it's not good. <laughs> My first time making gravy, I was like, oh, what is this? My food looks so good. And then I tasted it, and this was like when I was in my early 20s, y'all, when I first started cooking. I was like, oh. <laughs> that was epic fail. I just want to make sure I have a lot, enough gravy. Put a little more. great you guys so i'm gonna let this um simmer for a little bit longer and then i'm gonna pull my oxtails out in 10 minutes and we're gonna pour that in and then i'm gonna start cooking the rest of my meal y'all because after that we're only gonna have an hour left so i'm gonna start boiling my noodles for macaroni and cheese and all that good stuff all right you guys i just took my pan out so let's see what they're looking like after two hours yeah i know they boiled in the pot of water for one hour. Be careful for that pot, okay? They boil in a pot of water for, um, don't touch. <laughs> so this is what they look like. They already look pretty good, but we got to make them saucier. So I put a lot of water in there last time. That's what I'm saying, y'all. That's why I use the foil because sometimes in the pan, they stick. Hold it. Hold it, mommy. Hold it. Oh, hello, hi, yeah, they look pretty good already. We're gonna go ahead and make them nice and saucy. Oh, Sauce it up, make them good, oh, give them some more flavor with our gravy. I also, that's not gravy. I also, um, mommy. I also, huh, gravy. Mm -hmm. I also chopped some onions and I have some stewed tomato. Leave it alone. And I have some stewed tomatoes that I'm about to add to it. Okay, be careful, this is hot. Don't touch this pan, it's very hot. Don't let your hand accidentally hit it, okay? Get in. What's that? What's that? It's that. It's that my... Hey! Mommy! Hey! Say hey! Say hey! Say hey! Hey! Is that? Um, mommy. Hmm. That's right. Huh? Hold on, hold on. Actually, they still need to stick some, but I'm gonna go ahead and move, get them up, so that they won't stick no more in this last hour, and I'm gonna flip them to the side that didn't stink. Huh? Should've put a little more water. I did put a lot of water in it. Yeah, I ain't put enough. But at two hours, cook time. Mommy. Yeah, I remember they cooking my, at a high temp.
nice and free to move around as they please. Y'all see that? None of them are stuck anymore. They weren't really stuck, y'all. So luckily, sometimes you don't want one side to be burnt. So you gotta like add enough water to your pan before it dry up. So yeah, y'all see all that meat looking good, good, good. We finished cooking things for one more hour though, y'all. So let me get I'm gonna get them closer together right now because I'm about to go ahead and smother these boys. Go ahead and smother them, so I'm gonna get them close like so yeah see that yeah we got our onion that I sliced up here I don't, I'm scared it's gonna stick and I don't want it to stick. I'm gonna add some more water. I'm not gonna put it on top of all my glorious goodies I got right there. I'm just gonna put it on the side since I done gather all my hot stuff together anyway. Just put that water around it so that they won't stick. And that should be enough water, y'all, for only an hour. So, let's cover them back up. All right, you guys, so the way that I cook my cabbage, I basically chop my cabbage up. Um, I have what I'm gonna use right here in the bowl already. And then I use bacon. So I have my bacon here in the pan hot and ready for it. So I'm just gonna use two strips of bacon. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the skillet now. All right, that's gonna be cooking. Um, I need to wash, I can preserve more of this lit, um, cabbage so I can cook it within the next couple days. So yeah. I'm also going to chop up some onion. I'm going to put that with the cabbage. Mm -hmm. 
just giving it some extra flavor and hands and flavor, you know. Got the onion too.
have repeat because I got so much noise in the background. This much looking really good already. Want to add some salt and pepper because I know we haven't seasoned it yet. All the flavor we got is just from the bacon grease so far. So we're gonna put some salt in them and some pepper. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. And then I am going to add. And then I'm going to add some chicken broth. And today I'm just using a can of the Swanson chicken broth. And we are going to cover that up. Well, let me give it a mix. And then cover. Alright y'all, so the rice is cooking and then I'm also going to make some Jiffy cornbread. I already got my mix here. I'm going to make my muffins. And then that's going to be everything and I'll, I will come back and show you all what everything looks like. My octopus just, just went off. So I'll just show y'all in a minute once I get some space around here. Can you my fork along, please, sir? <laughs> Show your muffin. Wolf got a plate too. He gets ready to eat, eat too. All right, camera going dead, y'all, but oh, I'll let them know how it tastes. I'm so scared or like concerned because germs are germs. You know, they. They got sick from somebody germs. Them same damn germs could have been the coronavirus, you know? Them could have been coronavirus germs and not regular cold germs. Or they could have got sick. My bad. Like, I know I get sick. Like, I know I said they had got wet the other day. Oh, 